Hello and welcome to JD Bots. This is the bot series on multi cloud chatbot. We have made quite a few changes to our solution. The first and foremost change that we have made is currently we are not getting any of the configuration such as any secrets, any passwords. Those all are coming from Key Vault. And here we just gave the static values like those are not type of a configuration or secrets. They are just uh, required to be configurable, right? So those values uh, we have kept in app settings.json file. This is my development JSON. And if at all you're looking for what all properties needs to be initialized in key vault then i have also kept it in app settings.json as commented values so this is how the structure should go on i have kept all of these values in key vault and also we have upgraded our solution to dotnet 7 and one major change that i have made is that is minimal or what was the term let me see yeah yeah minimal hosting model so we have included this particular concept in our solution that is minimal hosting model. We have got rid of uh, startup.cs file and kept everything in the program.cs file. Okay. And this program.cs file contains how we get the configuration from key vault using the app configuration azure app configuration so there is a resource that we have created so let me show you that so this is a resource that gets connected to the key vault for getting the configuration from there you can also create some static key value pairs here but as of now i have got everything from the key vault like this so you initialize it in key vault and you give the key name this key name must match with your key present anywhere in your project file for example in this structure clu colon project name so you need to initialize in such a way and what should be the key vault name and what should be the secret that you have got it there in the key vault you can put it at any name but here in app configuration it, the name should be exactly the same format that you pass on in your solution okay and this is a piece of code that we have written here it needs to check the version so basically the version is what you specify while creating the app configuration so this is a label so this label needs to be a single value for each of the project I guess say so here we have made that sure that we keep the value constant and that is also configurable right and the other changes are done is initializing the prod environment and initializing the dev environment. Okay. Yeah, that is all the changes that are made as of now. All right. So now what I'll do, I'll just uh, add a typing middleware so in our last series that is enterprise chatbot 
there we have included the typing indicator in the bot class but now we'll be adding it in the middleware so what you need to do go to your adapter with error handler below the on turn error just add this statement that's all use new show typing middleware that is all is required all right so what i'll do i'll just restart the application and one more important thing that i have changed in our solution is the clu configuration details so here in clu clu recognizer i think not here let me see where is that piece yeah this this particular method is configured okay so make sure the app configuration that you add on you change the name of the property here earlier it was clu project name now i have added the colon because yeah we have made clu as the object and inside that object we have added multiple properties okay so this is another change that we have made and let's test this out so as you all know the current solution only contains the greeting intent it does not contain anything else yeah and it just shows me now this welcome card that i have also added it in the solution you can always go through the latest code in our github repository so let me just see how that typing indicator helps me yeah there you see yeah there is always a delay in showing the typing indicator but yeah it's a good practice to show it okay thanks everyone that is all for this session